Welcome back to Wake Up America. I'm Allison Maloney. We are only five days away from the midterm elections with women showing that they have real power at the polls come Tuesday. For more on this, let's welcome in Florida mom and host of the Keisha King Show, Keisha King, former Nevada State GOP chairwoman, Republican strategist and mom, Amy Tarkanian, and founder and CEO of Step For Them, mother and educator, Renee Petty. Uh, thank you so much. I'm so happy that you've joined me today because this is such a big topic. We all, we're all mama bears. We all know what's happening in the classroom. We we all are paying those grocery bills. Akisha, I want to start with you. You're a mom of two daughters, two teenage daughters. I have three. Talk to me about the issues that you and your friends, other moms, are concerned about and what will get you to the polls on Tuesday. Um, two words. Well, maybe three. Let me not be like Joe Biden. Uh, <laughs> inflation and education. That's what's on our minds. What we pay at the gas pump, what our grocery bills look like, what um, what our children are going to be learning in school as we are, you know, as as they go back to school and, or as they're in school, rather. And are they going are people going to be trying to mask our children? Mm -hmm. I in Florida, um, Charlie Chris was asked this question and he said, I would follow the science. Well, that is very vague for a lot of parents. And we want to know um, that's not good enough at this point. We know that. Um, the science shows that masking doesn't work. So for him not to even come out and outright say that right. is a no-go for many, many parents. And Governor DeSantis is certainly who we, most moms, are voting for. Yeah, I'm sure. And I know, Keisha, in your state, a lot of people moved to your state during COVID because uh, the schools were open once everyone realized that it w wasn't as dangerous as, as we thought for kids. Um, Renee, children's education, it's a hot button issue. We saw what happened in Virginia last year. Um, so we're seeing seeing what happened during the pandemic, right? As moms, we tried to home, like navigate through uh, the online learning. The test scores just came out for students across the country. How important is education in these midterm elections? Yeah, thank you. I think education is at the top of the list for most parents. Um, the We need to get back to focusing on academics. What we've seen over time, just in general in education, is a lot of um, alternative things being the focus. Um, we've also seen really parental rights get trampled on in the last few years. Um, a lot of parents have um, risen to the challenge uh, as a result of running for different boards of education really all over the country from coast to coast. You see this happening um, where parents are really not being heard. We have a lot of things coming down in education. Um, I've been in public education since 2009. Um, in my own classroom, I kind of saw things coming down that I had um, concerns about. And now what we see happening in education is you have our girls' sports in jeopardy. Mm -hmm. And you see uh, girls' private spaces like bathrooms and locker rooms that are being infringed upon. And I'm just wondering, where are all the feminists protecting women on these issues where we have girls that are being put at risk on these things. Yeah, gr great point, great point. And you all remember when parents, because they were speaking out, uh, were called domestic terrorists mm -hmm. because they just wanted to uh, to do what was right for their kids. Uh, Amy, Democrats, in the meantime, campaigning, they've been pushing on the issue of women's rights. I mean, a lot of people thought once this ruling, uh, the Roe versus Wade ruling happened, mm -hmm. that a lot of women, a lot of independent women would vote re uh, Democrat. But uh, do you think that this is working? Do you think women are going to go to the polls based on, on one issue? Well, there are some that will, and, and and that's fine. I know that this is an important issue to many. However, I don't think it's the top at this point because despite your party affiliation, you still need to be able to put food on the table. You still need to be able to put gas in your car to get to work. And so, you know, a social issue, while it may be important, uh, it's not going to supersede an economic issue. And so I think the fact that, you know, the economy and inflation are going to be the top priority across the board, um, that is my top priority. Uh, we still have empty shelves in our grocery stores. I have to go to several grocery mm. stores in order to complete a grocery list. Um, and we are supposed to be excited out here on the West Coast going from $6 a gallon of gas down to five. Yeah. I mean, I don't think so. That's still not exciting to me. Uh, yeah. And I have four kids. And, you know, we all have to get from point A to point B and get to their sporting events and get to class. How do you expect us to be able to juggle all of this financially if, 
if we can't pay for, you know, just the simplest things. Yeah, no, you're so right. I went to the grocery store this weekend and I realized that my grocery bill has doubled. And you're right, yes. Amy, we're, we're like Ubers. We're driving our kids all over the place. Akisha, you mentioned crime. We talked about, um, you know, rising costs of things. The Fed just, you know, is gonna, in they increase their, their interest rates. Um, something too is fentanyl. You know, we hear a lot of, of Republicans talking about it, but we don't hear the current administration. We don't hear a lot of Democrats talking about fentanyl and as moms I know I worry that my kid is going to take a Tylenol from somebody and it could be laced and they could die because this is happening across the country how important is is that to you oh my gosh so important so important and I think it's indicative of the current administration's priorities because they clearly have neglected completely the border completely it's not even, uh, we can't even find a, a, any instance where they have pretended to care about the border. And that says that they do not care about Americans and our children. They are literally letting these, these drugs, these highly fatal drugs come across um, our borders. And in what I think the reason why is because they need to import a new voting block because black Americans are moving away. Hispanic Americans are moving away from the Democrat Party and we're not going back and they need to import a new voting block and they could care less of how they win. They just want to win. That's and my Allison, opinion on that matter. Yeah. Go ahead. We have about 15 seconds. It, Go ahead. Sure. And I'd like to point out, too, that the state of Nevada has never had a, a governor that was a former sheriff. And that's why I think one of the reasons why, why we see a sheriff in the lead running for governor Absolutely. here in the state of Nevada. Yes. No, we want to keep everyone safe. Um, Keisha, Amy, Renee, thank you so much. Appreciate a great conversation today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.